Forsyth Central High School is home for the state and nationally certified STEM Academy. The STEM Academy was founded in 2011 and is a four-year rigorous application-based program. The STEM Academy focuses on math, science, and two CTA pathways, biotechnology and engineering. The following video is a brief introduction to the biotechnology and engineering pathways for STEM. The STEM Academy is broken into two branches, biotechnology and engineering. My name is Mr. Schuyler. I teach the biotechnology pathway. My background is at Emory University in the VA Medical Center where I studied pulmonary research focusing on lung development and diseases and disorders of the lung such as tuberculosis. I bring my experience into the biotechnology program where students will learn through intensive labs a wide variety of experimentations that have real-world applications such as PCR, DNA fingerprinting. We'll even get into CRISPR and RNA interference, which are turned technologies. So here we have 10th graders performing a DNA isolation from buccal cells, or otherwise known as cheek cells, from their own cheek. The students have a written protocol and a professional lab report where they record observational results, analysis, and a wide variety of information about the labs. This is a permanent record of the work that they've done. They turn in a carbon copy. The rest they get to keep as evidence of the labs that they've been performing. So here we have the 11th graders in Biotech 2. They're in their microbiology aspect of the class where they are studying the variety of bacteria. These students right here are performing a typical gram stain on a known bacteria that recently got these two young ladies here. One of them is performing an endospore test, and the other one is performing a capsule stain studying the characteristics of two different types of bacteria, all being recorded in the professional lab book notebooks as described before. Hi, I'm Daphne John, and I teach the first and second level of engineering here at Forsyth Central High School. During the first year, it's foundations of engineering where the students will learn all the woodworking tools in the workshop. My second level class, which is survey of engineering concepts, goes along with physics, physics two, especially the AP Physics 2. So any concept that they are being taught at physics, we'll be teaching them how to apply it in their engineering class. All right, so in our third year engineering class, engineering applications, Students will learn to apply some of the skills and concepts they've learned throughout their academic career. So this course is available for seniors, and by that point, the students will have taken the advanced math and physics classes that they will need to kind of understand the core engineering concepts and apply those in real-world situations. Students will also learn how to use advanced machinery, such as our CNC routers, our laser cutter, and our 3D printers, both the resin printers and the filament printers. Hey guys, welcome to the engineering lab. I've been a student here for three years now and I absolutely love it. We've had the opportunity to learn a number of really, really cool stuff out here, um, including welding, tons of woodworking tools, tons of metalworking tools, and a bunch of different computer-aided design softwares. We're even certified in uh, SolidWorks, one of the softwares that we use. At the beginning of every engineering project, we, do, we look for a client. That client can be a teacher who's come to us for something, the engineering lab itself, or a teacher we just want to give back to. For example, this current project behind me is something that is going to be a display outside the engineering room.